it's very important to uh, attach the phone very rigidly to the boat. So you need to plan everything before you go to the boat. So we are using this ram mount, which we have found out very good for this purpose. So I have already attached one device here. If you would like to measure two, also at the same time, you can use two devices. So first, you need to find a good place where the, where the, the ram, the level should be under the, where your handle is going. So put it inside the boat and low enough. So I have now two devices here. Now I attach the phone here. Please make sure that you put the phone so that it doesn't press any volume buttons or something else in the device. So it's now attached there. So when we have now phone or phones on the boat in a good place, so we need to check that the phone is talking to the sensors what we have. So I start the application, drone performance application, and I have a sensor in my hand. And I can check here that the sensor and the phone are connected to each other. If you have a, several sensors, it's very important to know which sensors you are putting in which or. The uh, one trick is that if you are going to uh, attach your sensor on the left or, put the sensor on the left hand. And if you are putting something on the right or, Put the sensor on the right oar. So then after that it's very easy to remember which oar I will add the sensor. Like this. Right oar, right hand. Okay, the next thing is to put the sensor on the oar. So I now attach the right oar, right sensor to the right oar. This is easy to do. not on the water. This is the main screen of the rowing performance application and what I can do here is uh, make sure I have the right boat selected. Now this is a double skull so, so that's fine. I can also auto connect to sensors if I want less hassle when going on the water. Let me click on rowing. Uh, now uh, I've actually already paired to this sensor. Now it's in the wrong position, so I will drag this to the right oar. That's where I want this uh, sensor to be. That's why I put the sensor on my right, right hand. And then I click on uh, done, and I could go uh, rowing. Or then I can attach a sensor to the seat. If you come with me here, you can see I have a little bit of a, a tape, piece of a tape under the seat and I can simply tape the sensor under the seat like that. So let me show you now that we carry the boat to the water how to install the sensor onto the oar. You simply pull the strap, including the safety, the safety strap, over the uh, handle and pull it all the way down to the oar lock, like this. It's very easy ins installation. The important thing is that the handle of the sensor should point towards the handle, towards the rower. And the sensor is on the back side of the blade, also very important. And now we are ready 